I think it said like light to medium or something like that. But I don't know. I kind of like it. It's not bad. And I put it underneath my eyes as well because I could not get concealer on this budget. So back to the powder. Once more. Okay. <laughs> it's, I do not recommend applying powder with this type of applicator. <laughs> It's terrible and very time consuming. Don't do it. Even if you're on a budget, just don't do it. <laughs> it's bad. Learn from my mistakes and just don't do it. All right, I'm going to take the e.l.f. eyeshadow and this is in... I don't see the name anymore and I threw away the packaging. Oh, Smoky. This is the Smoky palette. Okay. Smoky palette. Ah, I'm going to drop it looks like that. Alright, I'm going to take the lightest shade and start that as my base and put that on my brow bone and blend that out. I am not a big fan of these foam applicators. I can't believe I used to use, do all of my makeup using these for my eyes. I feel like I am so spoiled now where I just don't know what I'm doing anymore. And while I just have this out, I'm going to go ahead and run that down my nose is my highlighter. It's a pretty highlighter. I don't think by any stretch of imagination this would stay on all day. But it's pretty looking. It's better than nothing. And then, oh my goodness, it went a little heavy on my lip. You guys see how heavy that looks? Oh no, I'm already failing. Okay, I'm gonna get my inner corners. Right next, I'm going to go in with the second to lightest shade. And it's a pretty gray color. It's not bad. I'm gonna take the color that says crease. I feel like it's easier to blend it out with my finger than with the actual foam little applicator. Oh, good grief. It's so hard to control it this way. And I feel like, well, lip foam applicator is supposed to make things look more pigmented because they're taking it up more compactly, I believe. But it just, it's not a good look. I look like I got punched in the face. The second to the lightest color, put it underneath my eyes. I feel like I look like I got punched in the face right now. That is honestly what I feel like this look is going for. So if you want a tutorial of how to look like a drunk raccoon that was punched in the face, this this is definitely the tutorial for you. Even though it's not a tutorial, just yeah, it's just the road we're heading down. All right, I'm gonna take the liner shade. And that on the last part. <sighs> Barbara Coon, no makeup for you. 
Yeah, and by the way, nothing I bought came with a mirror. So that is why I'm using a separate smaller mirror. I'm gonna go in with that white shade and see if we can't blend everything out with that. That, that made it look a little bit better. Like, that's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It definitely could have been a lot worse. Okay. And I think I'm done with that. Oh, goodness. That's not what I meant to grab. That's not what I meant to grab at all. So I went to the clearance section for the lip and cheek item and it's a Rimmel lipstick, and the shade like name and stuff has ripped off of it, but it's from Rimmel, and it's a pretty, like, I think watermelon looking red. It kind of smells like sugar. And I am totally okay with it smelling like sugar. Because I feel like sugar is one of the best, most satisfying makeup smells ever. Ooh, ooh, that blends really well though. Like, ridiculously well. It looks more pinky on the lips than red. Alright. This is where I have to say a prayer because I'm scared. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. This is a brow product and a eyeliner product. Oops, I just batted the camera. I'm sorry, camera. I'm actually breaking the foam applicator I just used and dunking that in there like so, so that I can use that to line my eyes. I have a feeling this is a really dumb idea. Someone has to do dumb stuff. Good grief, this is like really difficult for an applicator. I feel like the foam portion would have been like just as bad. Oh gosh, I already messed up the wing. Oh, can I save it? Can I save it? Um, uh, maybe? Oh! Oh! I did it! I did it! I made a wing with that horrible idea to take apart the foam applicator. Gosh. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I didn't save anything because I still have this eye and it's, it cannot. Why is it one eye always turns out better than the other? Please tell me I'm not the only person that has that issue. I would think it would be this eye that would turn out better because I'm right handed and not left handed. And maybe I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. Please let me know if you also have that problem. Also, I'm kind of stoked that Friday, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 comes out. I think I'm going to surprise my husband by taking him to see it. Because he has worked a lot of- Ah, and the swing is just out of control. I really don't even know anymore. Maybe just keep getting bigger and bigger. It's just not a good way to apply eyeliner. This was a dumb idea. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to go back into that eyeshadow and take the black liner color and pat that on top of it. And maybe... 
guess maybe I can make it look like someone didn't punch me in the face. Or I'm drunk and my makeup is just disgusting. I don't know. Actually, that's not... It's not absolutely horrible. I mean, I have certainly made better wings. But, you know what? I guess it's only what you're used to. If I use, like, that type of applicator every day... Because practice makes perfect, everyone. Practice makes indeed perfect. Actually, that is that is not bad. The more I stare at it, the more I'm like, you know what? I'm not, oh my god, I just have like eyebrow and liner product all over my hands. Anyway, I'm going to use that same tool that I used for the eyeliner and the same product to apply oh no 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 honey that's do you see what i just did there oh no 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 thank goodness i have fingers i definitely need to wash my hands and scrub them really well Oh, I just got it on my forehead because I'm stupid. This is a disaster. Like, I am actually breaking this thing. Because it definitely was not meant to be used like this. And it's kind of flimsy to begin with because it's elf. And I've never really had the... Oof. Oh my gosh, it's like completely gone. Well, eh, let me wipe my hands off on cloth I have here <laughs> and just pray. Okay, okay, okay. I almost reached for a brush. What the hell? Oh, fingers, fingers, Michelle. All right, I'm going to take that <laughs> same applicator I used to apply my powder with. And try and clean up this brow some. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm just making, I'm just spreading black everywhere still because there's still some in my hand. Oh. Maybe if I use, okay, okay. My fingernail didn't have any black on it. All right. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and apply the stuff directly to my finger and dot this so I can have some contour. And hopefully it's not like too dark and disgusting. Basically, I don't want it to look like I just rubbed dirt on my face, which I kind of feel like that's what I did. Because I think this is like, it feels like a clay, kind of. Yeah, that kind of just looks like I rubbed dirt on my face. Oh well. It was not meant to be used like this, and I thought maybe I could use it like this, and I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Don't do it. If you buy this product, do not try and use it as contour unless you're a lot deeper skin tone. No, okay, not a lot, but a deeper skin tone than me. <laughs> or you're just really desperate like I was. I was like, I still need contour in my life, and oh gosh, I didn't want contour like this. grab my mascara that I bought for this challenge. I'm going to curl my lashes with my terribly awful dirty fingers. Because there is no lash curler. Not on a $20 budget. And there we go. I hope all of you enjoyed. And tell me what you think down below. Bye.